Hey guys, um, engine seized, and it's the main bearing, one of the main bearings. That's what it looks like. It's got a beautiful colour on the race <laughs> due to overheating, and um, yeah, it won't uh, won't turn now. Yeah. Okay. So I thought I'd give you some tips on. Um, on dismantling um, a two-stroke engine, uh, particularly the AM6 uh, engine, and um, yeah, what I would do is I'd try to accumulate some of these chemical containers. Oh, this is a paraffin container, and um, cut them down so that you end up with a nice easy um, wash down area and um, in this particular instance you, know, you get the other half which is deeper so you can finish off when you split the engine you know you, you're wanting to you start off with some paraffin wash and then you know you can finish off with the other half with some petrol or whatever um, they're great so if you get those and cut them down and then get a load of rags to hand, anything but loads of them, while your engine is still whole, you know, with a brush and some paraffin you can get get it soaked and then just take rags and you know with maybe with some rubber gloves on your hands, you know, with some rags. You can just wipe off all the dirt and just keep going and um the, the rags can be dumped there and taken to um, the recycle area. Um, keep going with with with, uh, with clean rags until you can you can grab the engine without getting crap everywhere. And that's that's a nice that's a nice tip. And these are so useful. And also, I mean you know, too late now perhaps, but. Um, for any future um, work on an engine, I would keep these meat um, containers and just build them up and you know, if you buy meat in polystyrene containers, then you can stack them and put them away because as you're stripping the engine, all the bits can go from, from different areas of the strip they can all go in 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 one con in one container. So, for example, yeah, gearbox. The clutch, and all the different areas. So that everything's all nicely, um, it's all nicely categorised, and it makes life a lot easier. So those are just general, general tips. The specific tip on um, on the AM6 is it's really dodgy design, and that is the um, timing plate or the stator plate that attaches to the the crankcase, and. Um, there's always a lot of uh, questions on the forums about the three screws holding the plate and um, they're an absolute nightmare and the first time we stripped the engine it was hell and um, the actual what I've, what I've discovered is that um, you need to you need to heat up the, the, the three screws, and here they are. Uh, you can see. Yeah, so here's the, here's the back plate, and here are the screws. Here's another one. And this is one I changed, and, the, and when you get them off, I would definitely consider changing them to um, a larger Allen screw and a hardened one because these are soft 
and they're tiny, two and a half millimeter Allen key they take, and um, everybody struggles like hell to get them out. Now, what you what you what you should do is you should heat them up, and that will break the um, the the Loctite, and then they'll they should come out much much easier. And that's a real key bit of knowledge, um, because if you don't, then you will spin the Allen key in the screws and uh, and then you're down to um, drilling them out okay so um, I replaced one I don't know why I didn't replace them all maybe it was the only screw that I that I had or one was particularly bad and I put the other, uh, other two in um, at the time when we rebuilt the engine when I come to take them out you know the the metal was already too soft and so um, what I would do and this is a great tip, is that you can, in order to split the, the cases, you can see here how I have drilled a hole in the back plate here, and all the way around here, and this here, and at the bottom there, now those are going to need cleaning up, and uh, but what it does, it what it allows you to do is it allows you to get to the Allen um, screws that are holding the crankcases together, and uh, so you so you can leave that plate um, in situ, and um, yeah, I mean if you weren't going to uh, if you were going to risk not changing the uh, the um, the oil seal then I mean you could put it back together like that but normally you would uh, once you've got this out you can then place it on a pedestal drill and then you can drill if you can't get them out for example if you've knackered them and you're looking at this at this video with knackered screw heads then do that um, drill clearance for your uh, for your allen screws in the crankcase and then once you've got the engine split, you can put it on a pedestal drill, and then much easier you can drill out the um, the screws, and then the the screw thread that, that remains should come out uh, quite easily, and then you can you can replace the uh, replace the screws. So I'm just going to take out this uh, one uh, Allen screw, and I'll give you the dimension. Yeah. Okay. So um, it's four millimeter. And just um, you can see, get a good quality type, hard, and hard, and washer. And it's ten millimeter. The screw length, okay. And you want three of them. And um, they want to have a three millimeter across the flats um, Allen, Allen key head and that's a reasonable size that you can get a decent um, um, grip into them you know without anything spinning or whatever um, once they get below three millimeters um, the slightest um, failure on the tolerances of either the key or the screw can cause them to to spin whereas three millimeter is nice and meaty so i would definitely if you have an am6 uh, motor then when you're in a hardware store if you can get four millimeter hard allen screws um, if they're if they're more than ten millimeters, obviously you can cut them back. You'll want a, um, a, a nut threaded onto them first before you uh, shorten them, so the nut is already on and down, and then you can cut them off to um, ten millimeters, and then you can then screw off the you can uh, grind grind off the put a little taper on the end and then then wind off the nut and that will clean up the thread um, as it uh, as it goes and that's 
that's definitely the technique to use. Um, don't shorten a screw without first having a nut on the screw itself. So you can remove it and it will just cut any, um, any, any bent, bent over metal, it will cut it back into shape and you can tidy it up that way. Okay, I think that's great, uh, a great tip. Good luck with your projects. All right, bye for now.